All right, so howdy, friends. Good morning. And uh, how's everybody doing? Everybody doing good? I'm doing pretty good. I can get the seatbelt on. Got the old tape measure on the hip today. We got a interesting one to go look at. I guess a uh, customer customer called me yesterday, and uh, they stated that their door. So th this is a common thing that happens. I've seen this happen many a times and this probably won't be the last time but a semi truck stopped midway in the door jam to talk to somebody right here's the key stopped to talk to somebody this happens this happens and these are the what are they ptsd moments that i have from many many years of doing this and so we're going to go look and i guess what happened is the, the the driver stopped and they were talking to whoever their friend and the garage door came down well the garage door came down and sat on the trailer you know it's like a like a dump trailer type thing with walls on it they didn't realize the door had had came down and sat on the trailer so what they end up doing they said hey buddy we're done talking have a good day you have a good day took off while well, the bottom panel was sitting on the door took it out so they called last night i talked to the customer i said hey i said is uh the door secure they said yes that's the, the most important thing so i said okay i said well i said i'll be there in the morning and i'll take a look and now they they did state to me the customer that they were wondering if we could get it running. We're gonna we're gonna evaluate it, but I but I told them I said more than likely, probably not. I said because I said we know the bottom panel of a garage door does basically all the work. You know what I mean? It's it's the heart of the garage door, and if it's not in good enough shape, I said it you know it could be a liability, and I said I don't want to be on the news. Neither do you. And he agreed. I said, because I said, you know what happens? I said, something happens. This door comes down and hurts somebody, kills somebody. It's going to be, what do they say? WTH moment. And uh, I don't want to be no part of that. And I don't want to have, I, I, I got my own mic to deal with. I don't need uh, another microphone from somebody else going, how did this happen? Why did this happen? Why did you do this? What would you have done? I, I, don't, I don't need that in my life. So we're going to head out to the job. We are going to check it out, and uh, I'll see you there. All right, over and out. Let's take a look at what we got here. So obviously that truck, when it drove out, it wrecked the bottom panel. So I, I mentioned to the customer, threw the cables off too. I mentioned to the customer that we should probably order this bottom panel. I told him I said it might take a might take about a year, year and a half to get this bottom panel. Right now things are. So you can kind of see what we're dealing with. This is a little bit on the goofier side because the opener, it used to be up here and they never work like they're supposed to. So they end up putting an opener through the wall. And uh, so it's, out, it's on the other side of this wall. So basically my thought process is I'm going to take two come alongs. I'm going to come along up this side and I'm going to come along up this side. I kind of got to figure out where I'm at with this. I have to figure out if I'm in a neutral state or if it's still wound, if the opener still holding the pressure and all that jazz. That'll be fun. But I have a wonderful lift here, which is very helpful. And yeah, we're going to see what we can do to get this door up and running. So 
Sometimes what I do is I put a couple slices in here, bend this back. I might take some rivets depending on what I want to do. And uh, yeah, we'll get it running. That's no big deal. Oh yeah. The big dogs. So I'm going to grab a second grapple that hooks on the cable. I'll show you. Had a little fun last night. Knocked down a tree, a bunch of shrubs on it. <clears throat> Nothing like running a power saw. So let's grab it. All right. Grapple. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. There's our grapple. <clears throat> so we're going to run over to... Uh, I'm going to run over to Lowe's, and I'm going to grab just a few chunks of aluminum. I've, uh, you know, I always look at it like I'm always trying to do better than I did the last time. Um, that's how I've just always treated my life. You know, honestly, it's, I look at it like you're always trying to learn, and you always want to be more efficient. You want to be faster. You want to be quicker. You want to be better. You want to be smarter. You want to be a better craftsman. And none of us are perfect, including me. So I always just try to make sure that I'm not making the same mistake. And one little mistake that's not really that big a deal is that I've noticed is on that on that bottom panel is that if you put a piece of uh, angle iron on there, it's gonna rust. And it always just looks really trashy. So I'm gonna try to get a piece of aluminum from Lowe's and uh, we'll see if it just it just helps last a little bit longer looks better the door door isn't damaged yet as far as I can tell as bad as I thought it was so I, I think I can do a pretty nice little repair on it, a nice little band-aid and uh, we'll, we'll check it out when we get there another thought that was coming to my mind was I was thinking you know how much nicer it is to do the commercial versus the residential and I'm not trying to bash residential residential is what uh, got me here you know what I mean in, in a sense I, I I always started out really almost 50 50 I was 50 commercial 50 residential but you know with with commercial it always feels like we all we all are working on the same team I think is what I was thinking of is that we're all you know the guy that comes out that's dealing with me He's not sitting there harassing me about, you know, well, how much, how much, how much, you know, I, I'm on a fixed income. It's, you know, when you deal with residential, the problem is, is that it feels like a lot of times it's victim mindset. Not always, but I'm, I just, I cannot stand victim mindset. You know what I mean? We determine in our lives what happens to a certain degree. I always like that saying, you know, you might not be able to control the situation, but you can always control your attitude. And I think that's very true. But I just noticed with, with residential, it, it's, it, it feels like it makes my blood boil a little bit sometimes because the people can be very agitating, you know. And with commercial, it's more like just fix it. You know what I mean? Just take care of it, send me the bill, and we're good. You know what I mean? And so, for instance, uh, this particular customer, they have a uh, scissor lift available. So that's awesome. Um, they know they're in good hands and they're just going to leave me alone. Um, residential, sometimes they want to pull out a chair. Sometimes they want to make sure they're getting every penny out of you worth. You know, it, it's just it's just always a different... Uh, it's just a diff different atmosphere. I, I don't know how to sometimes describe it. Maybe you can describe it below. If uh, if you like, you know, that's what you should do. You should comment below. Do you prefer residential or do you prefer commercial? You know, because commercial or, or sorry, residential is quick cash flow. It really is. But it's very spontaneous, you know, um, it's it's like it's always built with anxiety, you know. Well, I got to go to the doctor soon, so can you get it done in an hour? You know, when can you be here? Well, I guess I'll have to call somebody else. You know, it just is such a high-strung situation versus this customer, uh, 
you know, I contacted them last night. We went through it very methodically. You know, is the door secure? Yes, we're fine. It, you can wait till the morning, okay? You know, and it's not so, well, can you get here by tonight? Because I tomorrow I, I got to, you know, snow blow or I got to cut my grass. And in the grand scheme of things, sometimes you always go, really? You, 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 you got to, you know, can you leave your door? I, I don't you know. I can't leave my door unlocked. You know what I mean? And, and then even if it is, well, I guess you could go through the house, Ugh, you know. Uh, I don't like going through the house, you know. I still to this day, I know I'm an honest, good guy. I'm a good Christian. I'm. I don't want to go through your house. I just don't. I don't want to. I don't want to put footprints in there. I don't want to take my boots off. I don't want to have to deal with a barking dog. You know, a commercial. That just seems like it all goes aside. You know, they're men. They're typically men and women. And we're just trying to get a job done. You know, we're we're all working on the same team. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. See if I'm nuts. Well, I hate to end the video like this, but it would be way too long if I show you all of it. So this would be a part one. I'll show you a part two. You know what? Well, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wouldn't mind, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Let's learn together. Let's grow together. And let's do better. Anyways, take care, you guys. Have a good one.